music fans are rocking out tonight for the final night of the Buckle Up Music Festival. But before organizers pack up after a successful weekend, WLWT News 5's Richard Childs got a behind the scenes look of how it all comes together. We should just leave it up, leave everything up, and do a country festival the next week. For the past two weeks, Cincinnati has been center stage. Back to back music festivals have brought crowds of fans cheering on their favorite bands. And the man behind that music, Bill Donabedian. Cincinnati is the place to be. You ready to go Last week, 80 bands rocked the third annual Bunbury Music Festival. Keep your thoughts to yourself. This weekend's Buckle Up packed country music fans onto the banks of the river. Behind the big names of faces on the sides of trucks is an army of staffers and technicians and roadies and runners, all keeping it in tune. And if Bill Donabedian is the lead singer, and they're bringing some of their lights, so then David lights. Steed is playing guitar and pounding the drums. Does. We've got uh, guys who, who push gear. We have guys and, and gals who uh, control sound and control lighting. We have an army down here that does everything from picking up trash. So, yeah, I, I don't know the real numbers about how many are here, volunteers and paid staff, but everyone here has been experienced. And no one can do it by themselves. It is really a team effort to, to make this work. Attendance for the two weekends exceeded 100,000. But the music from these stages will be heard for a long, long time. The city has a lot to offer in some pretty substantial music festivals, and that has a social impact. You know, people will perceive the city differently, it attracts and retains people to our city and our region, it makes us cool. Richard Childs, WWT News 5. And Cincinnati's place in the musical spotlight continues next week as the Macy's Music Festival rolls into town.